రాష్ట్ర హక్కులు డిమాండ్ల కోసం కేంద్రంపై పోరాటం చేస్తామని తెలంగాణ మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ అన్నారు తెలుగు రాష్ట్రాలకు కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వం సహకారం అవసరమని తెలిపారు తెలంగాణలో పెట్టుబడులు పెట్టడానికి మరో అంతర్జాతీయ సంస్థ డ్రిల్ మిక్స్ పా ముందుకొచ్చింది బేగంపేటలోని ఓ హోటల్లో జరిగిన కార్యక్రమంలో కేటీఆర్ సమక్షంలో ప్రభుత్వ ఆ సంస్థ ప్రతినిధులు ఒప్పందం గుర్తుంచుకున్నారు ఈ సందర్భంగా నిర్వహించిన కార్యక్రమంలో కేటీఆర్ మాట్లాడారు some really pioneering policies like ts i pass which continue to set uh, you know which continue to set new benchmarks for the industry which continues to raise bar for the other states and other governments across the country which also continues to ensure that telangana remain on top on the ease of doing business rankings you know rankings given by government of india and world bank together i'm very proud and pleased to welcome drillmec you know because uh, they are going to invest as was pointed out about 200 million dollars into setting up this uh, unit it will be a manufacturing unit as uh, simone has explained it will also have a research and development center and they're also looking to establish a uh, high technology you know uh, new age uh, you know uh, uh, tech center which will which will work on hydrogen and other emerging technologies i welcome them and uh, i am also told that uh, this center will possibly give gainful employment to nearly 2000 500 youngsters and i hope and i uh, you know i'm confident that uh, with umama ishwari garu and uh, simone and the entire team you know leading from the front majority of these 80 to 90 percent of these employees you know will be from the local area from telangana our local youngsters would get gainful employment now as was also pointed out they already have a billion uh, dollar order pending so they want to start asap I assure them from the government's side that we will hand over land and we will also ensure that you receive uh, some fiscal incentives to make manufacturing in Telangana, to make manufacturing in India very, very attractive. In fact, one of the things I'm very proud of, Hyderabad and Telangana initially, in fact, uh, we did not have many large, uh, you know, pure play manufacturing companies. But in the last seven and a half years, we've been able to attract many manufacturing companies and I request uh, uh, you know, Simone, to possibly also look at bringing in your entire ecosystem of suppliers, of vendors, so that you can actually have them all around you, so that it becomes that much more easier for you to, you know, achieve uh, scale and achieve also efficiency. Now, the one thing I would like to point out to my friends from media is that um, while Telangana has been growing and Mel Telangana has made a name for itself as one of the most proactive, industry-friendly uh, states in the country. Unfortunately, we have not received the support that a state like Telangana ought to get from Government of India. You know, we've been promised special incentives for industrialization to encourage industrialization, to encourage more employment creation as part of the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act seven and a half years ago. Now, tomorrow, Government of India is set to present its next budget. I think this will be the eighth budget after the formation of Telangana. And we continue to wait, in spite of our numerous pleas, in spite of our numerous requests, we continue to wait on the delivery of the promise made to the people of Telangana and also Andhra Pradesh. Both states were made a promise that we would be getting special industrial incentives. None of that has materialized. In spite of that, of course, Telangana continues to grow. The other thing I also wanted to point out, 